Hello, my name is Travis and I am going to do a review on the Ubuntu X Ubuntu 12.04. Um, very um, nice um, operating system. It's uh, based on the XFCE. Um, it is the XFCE um, desktop interface. Uh, so if you see familiar environments like this, uh, don't worry, it's except the CE so there's no I don't think there's no change into it but um, everything's um, everything's the, uh, the same so okay we have a web browser of course the main pri priority uh, mail reader um, a lot of them, um, I think uh, they use Thunderbird in here, so um, settings, uh, setting manager. Um, setting manager is just basically um, uh, where your settings are and stuff like that. Uh, appearance, uh, uh, assembility, assembility, a calendar, desktop, display, file manager, keyboard, mouse and touchpad um, notifications panel all the things that you you can work on on your settings and stuff um, a desktop is probably going to um, be um, a background menus and icons uh, different things like that you can change uh, your um, desktop images you can go online and you can um, search for one that you want and um, save it to your um, file system and um, basically um, add it to uh, search for it in your um, directory and um, and there you go um, we've got your images list and none for images if we just push none it's not going to give us an image it's just going to give us a blank layout a single image is going to um, give us a single image of course you know that already We'll push none for this um, tutorial. Um, menu icons, uh, desktop menu, show applications menu on desktop right click. Um, basically, right click and you have different settings, um, different applications. Probably open a new window, create a launcher, create URL link. Create folders, create from templates, open the terminal here, find in this folder, desktop settings, properties, applications, different applications that you have on your computer that you want to open, um, accessories, uh, programming, run program, applications finder. This is the best one to have to find your applications and knowing what you have on your computer um, catfish it's I don't know what that is. I think that's a program um, tool I think so maybe it's probably a finder too because it has a um, little um, my f um, glass my earphone glass um, character map for your um, layout of your keyboard and stuff file manager leaf pad uh, for notepad it's like notepad notes uh, just putting notes on the computer on board um, not really sure what that is I'll check that out we won't show up I don't know uh, on board, I guess this is a keyboard layout, so it's going to be the, basically the same.
Um, okay, we got um, show applications icons and menu. Okay, that's, that's basically what we were talking about on right clicking show applications icons and menu. So that's icons and stuff. If they if we take that out, we we won't see any icons. Maybe we we'll, maybe we won't. But if we apply it first, we should desktop menu. Maybe I'm thinking about something else, but um, that's uh, um, I guess show show applications icons and menu. Uh, basically, that's um, showing the icons in the menu, of course. But we don't want to mess with that. Uh, Windows list menu, show Windows list menu on desktop men middle click. Windows list menu, so yeah, show applications icons and menu, show workspace names and lists. We should have a apple um a ABC order for your icons and stuff. A min, um option for your settings and stuff, but that's okay. File icons, uh, icon size. You can change your icon size to your fit your preference. Um, I'm going to close this. Um, settings. Additional drives will show you what drives that you have to activate. Um, basically, I have an ARM processor, and if I want to activate my ARM processor. Um, not processor arm, um, ATI graphics card. I want to activate that. I just go to additional drivers, um, and that will uh, do it for me. But there's other ways that you can uh, activate. Uh, well, not activate. Uh, install a driver on your um, desktop environment, and for your drivers, of course. And there's videos on YouTube already. I can put them on the description below for ATI. I'm really familiar with that, so input method switches, uh, keyboard input methods, language support. Language support is basically um, what your language and stuff. If you speak Spanish, European, or um, Italian, or what whatnot, but I don't know if they have that in here. But I know how they have Spanish in here, of course. Um, Chinese or Japanese or what whatnot. And men main menu. Um, basically main menu is going to show us um, I guess the menu um, for our applications. This thing is still on. Let me exit that out. Sure, how to exit that out. <laughs> Just leave that on the side. Okay, um, additional drivers, different um, applications, applications that you want on your menu, main menu bar. So. Um, what applications you want to take off, you can unclick them and stuff like that. They make it more easier to find things and stuff, I guess. Um, you can mess with that when you install your desktop. Um, network connections is going to show you a list of um, um, networks in your area. Um, onboard settings, like the keyboard layout on your screen, settings, settings editor, um, editing settings and stuff. 
accessories run program uh, best way to run your programs and stuff find your um, shortcuts and stuff arch uh, manager extracts uh, files Cal calculator um, if you need to add something up or times it to something um, catfish uh, file manager character maps file manager uh, leaf pad notes on board uh, orange orange global time uh, just a time um, shows different uh, times in the world uh, screenshot uh, terminal emulator it's basically the terminal but emulated uh, except burn except burn so burn CDs and stuff gives us the um, if we hover around it it will show in the black black um, letters um, well white letters but black um, background um, yeah so uh, these are the games a cell wrote a solitary free cell solitary Mahajang Mahanjang or something Mines Sudoku That's a fun game to play. Sudoku is one of my favorite ones to play. But I used to play that before and I got a lot of um uh bad dreams on numbers and stuff and it just uh, freaked me out and yeah, it was weird. But um, document views, like, um, uh, what was that? Um, uh, maybe it's not what I'm thinking of. PD PDF file viewing and stuff, document viewing and stuff. But same, maybe the same thing, I don't know. GIMP image, imager editor. The thumb, uh, photo images. Um, images view, simple scan. Uh, maybe a scanner that you want to um, do an image on. Place a picture in a scanner and scan it, and this will help you uh, get an image on your computer. Um, Internet Explorer, Firefox, uh, Pengen Internet Messenger, Thunder uh, Thunderbird Mail, Transmission, Chat X Chat RC. Like the X chat IRC to chat with um, geeks and talking to them about my issues and stuff and trying to help people out on that channel too. It's um, if you want um, X Ubuntu chat um, IRC, just go to Free Nude and type in um, number X Ubuntu. Um, that was internet graphics. That's where we were at for GIMP and stuff. I forgot to say that. Multimedia, uh, G Music Browser to browse music and stuff. A barrel roll. What's that? Uh, maybe a um, movie player. Pulse Audio Volume Controller. XF Burner. Um, CD burner, of course, the same thing. Uh, office tools, ABI Word, dictionary, best to have a spell checker and stuff. Document viewer, GNU Merrick, Org cal uh, calendar, Org global time, uh, basically uh, showing the times and uh, the dates and stuff. System. Gigolo, maybe that's a network uh, instead of for too easy connect to a remote uh, file system. So that's basically remote if, um, uh, settings and stuff. G pardon um, file um, formatted uh, formatted program to format uh, this space or uh, format a USB drive or which not. Um, that's the best uh, program for Ubuntu. iBus, 
is this um, method framework install X Ubuntu. I'm running this on a live uh, CD, so I didn't install it yet on my uh, um, computer. Printing startup desk creator. Uh, basically, um, another um, editor. Oh wait, no, startup disk creator. It's a um, a a CD disk image um, burner for a Ubuntu CDs to make a US, I think a USB or CD, maybe. Um, Syny uh, Synaptic Package Manager. Basically, um, remove upgrade software packages. Task Manager. Um, deleting, um, well, not deleting, exiting now uh, programs that you have running on your computer. Uh, time and date. Um, different um, dates and stuff for your um, calendar. Just on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. All the months in January, February, March, April, May, all the months in this uh, program to do scheduling and stuff. Update manager to update your um, PC, uh, Linux uh, machine, user in groups, users in groups. Um, you have different usernames and different groups that you have on your computer. Add or remove users or groups. Ubuntu Software Center. This is the best place to go to download a uh, software. Um, if you have um, a software that you think of um, and you want to run on a um, the Ubuntu, X Ubuntu, um, if it's if it can't get to run, if it can't run on uh, Linux. Uh, you have to use a wine um, tool. Um, to a uh, wine tool to um, install it, but to use it, you have to um, run that um, wine application. So if you want to install the wine application, you just type in wine and it will search for the wine application and should uh, show up in a minute yeah here it is wine, wine program uh, still just searching for it uh, wine Windows Program Loader. Okay, Microsoft Windows uh, Compatibility la Layer, Binary em Emulator, and Library. Basically, Wine is not uh, Wine is not Eliminator. That's what it's based on. Um, what the meaning of Wine is. Wine is not em um, Emulator. It's something uh, how they um, set it with mine, but I don't know why they, you know, it's all um, confusing. But I guess it's if you want to call it uh, a limited um, emulator, I can't even say it. Uh, but if you want to call it that, you can. Um, Play on Linux is the best um, tool to um, have uh, wine applications, wine um, versions of wine to um, if you have a specific wine application that you want to run um, just go into the directory and find it and place it in the play on Linux um, and then use that to um, run your applications like um, Microsoft Office and um, LOL for League of Legends um, uh, there's other um, wine applications and versions that you can run Diablo uh, 3 my best best tools ever to run those um, games but yeah um, 
Help Manager is uh, basically helps you to find what you need to look for on the Exabuntal, about Exabuntal, about XFCE. It's going to tell you all about it and stuff. And it's just a lot of reading and stuff. Well, um, and this is the task bar. It shows you um, all the things that you have on your computer. Um, your mailing, your volume, your network, um, time and date, and your username. And two screens to work on. So, uh, and this is the icons to um, click on to get your home directory, file system, and trash and install Exabunto. Uh, basically this is a um, way to go to install Exabunto and um, have fun with it. Um, basically thank you for watching uh, this uh, tutorial on Exabunto and I hope you liked it. Um, comment below, subscribe um, on my channel please. Oh here's the last thing that I was um, this is the dock. Uh, I was meaning to do this. I, I knew that I was going to forget this. This is the dock. It shows you um, what your applications are that you can run and stuff. Um, basically, it's um, it's like a Mac, but um, yeah, it's a dock. That's what it's called. It's a dock. Uh, but yeah, that's um, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, like I said, subscribe, um, comment below, and tell me what you think about the Exapunto, and geek out.